All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 10. Episode 10. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the very last Episode 10 in Game of Thrones that we will be watching because I'm pretty sure Season 7 and 8 both only have six episodes in them each. Pretty sure. But, last episode was Battle of the Bastards. Ramsey got got eaten by his dogs. He was eaten by his dogs, which is pretty nice, pretty nice to see. And one thing I noticed while I was editing that video was, you know how like John got buried under all those bodies for like a second, everyone was just trampling over him and he was he was trying so hard to breathe, you know? And earlier in the episode, he told Melisandre, hey, if I die, don't bring me back this time. You know, so it's like, if he dies, he doesn't want to come back if he can. So, so that makes me think like, okay, he's told, he's going to give this his best effort, but if he loses, he loses. If he dies, he dies. It is what it is, you know? But then that point, but then when he was being suffocated and trampled on, it was like, he couldn't just let himself die. He had to, he had to keep going. He had to. That's why John is him. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty cool. He could have just stayed where he was and then just like eventually suffocated and died. But he's not going to let himself die. You know, he's still going to fight to try and survive. But if he died, you know, okay, whatever. I just thought that was pretty cool, you know. But anyways, I heard this episode was also pretty crazy too. I saw a couple comments by you guys saying, I can't wait till season six, episode 10. You know, you can't wait till I see that. So, you know, this episode, um... You know, and actually, last episode was a battle, right? And that follows the trend of either a major death or a battle. So, I'm assuming a major death comes in here, comes in this episode. Yeah, the major death of last season happened in episode 10. And the, you know who it was, it was John. So, maybe, maybe it happens in this. Maybe, I don't know. If someone's dying, I have no idea who. Maybe Cersei, you know, her, her trial happens or something. I don't know. But anyways... I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. Is it time for her trial? She can't do the trial by combat, so she's definitely gonna lose this trial. Aww. Trial will be getting underway soon. You got my money. Later, go away. <laughs> Run later. Dude, the piano in this intro, though, the beginning of this episode. Never heard any, never heard a song like this before in Game of Thrones. I like it. Are you prepared to stand trial? No. I confess before the seven. Crimes. Will you be confessing? All of them. All of them. Oh, so he said. And arrogance. I see that now. Watch, they're gonna kill him for admitting to it now. Except whatever punishment the gods deem just. Yeah, the punishment is death. Shows her mercy to those who kneel before. Mm. And my claim is on High Garden. Oh yeah, they can't. He can't believe that. Oh, I will. I feel like he's just so desperate to not die, you know. <gasps> oh, I thought he was about to slit his freaking throat. Oh, they're just going to do it in his forehead. Okay. <laughs> ah. Ah, shit. Faith is the way, Father. Shit. That's a deep cut. Ah. I mean, I kind of figured, like, you know, the mother's mercy, like, the mother's punishment was death, you know? I, mean, I guess it's like, if he didn't join the Seven right there, his punishment would have just been something brutal. I guess death isn't a punishment. I have to go. Like, this piano's interesting. I'm late for the trial. Oh, no. You're not going. The Queen Mother. Mm -hmm. I have never left the Red Keep. Hell, yeah. she's not showing up, dude. The mother doesn't wish to attend her own trial. Go to the Red Keep and show no, her. No, she's fitted out though. She has a plan for something. She would not dress up that nice for no reason. Ah, uh, yep. 
they're gonna, they're gonna chase the kid, or he's gonna, Lance is gonna chase the kid, and it's a setup. Oh, this kid's taking the maester somewhere. Ah, oh, this is the, mo the mountains like dungeon, but. Ah, oh, I just have a child kill him. Damn. This one made it a while. Kind of surprised. Oh, he's gonna have all these kids just kill him. These little birds. Dude, Lance was kind of dumb for chasing this kid this far into all these tunnels. Whatever your faults, you did not deserve to die alone in such a cold, dark place. Ah. Uh, the old. The fuck is stripping? Damn. That's a really shitty death. Oh, Lancel, what are you doing? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he's put in work. Oh no, he's not. No, he's not. Ah. Damn. He made it a lot farther. Ah. He made it a lot farther than I ever thought he would. I'll give him that. <laughs> oh, oh, yep, got him. Shanked his ass. <laughs> Damn. Yep, since they had the little birds. Go and go. Take out her ops. Oh, uh, that's all the wildfire. Bro, I know you're not gonna set all that off. I know you're too pussy. No way. No fucking way. It's like fuck. If I'm dying, so is everyone in this goddamn city. Or was all the wildfire under? Or are they all right now? We'll begin shortly. Sassy is not here. She's gods. Forget about the bloody gods and listen to what I'm telling you. Wait. <laughs> We all need to leave. Yep, the wildfire's under them. So yeah, it's supposed to—it's supposed to go off. That's what was dripping. Yeah, and Lancel's not gonna do it, but it's just a matter of time. Yeah, Marge is right. And he sees Marge trying to get out of here. I feel like Marge only played the part to, to save her brother, you know? That's it. She probably would have dipped a while ago. First chance she got, but she she had to save him. Or just try. Mm, this music! Oh no! Oh fuck. Yep, it was just a matter of time. Oh! Oh! Oh shit. Oh, that dude. Everyone just got waxed. Oh, yep. Yep. Seriously, I did that. Oh, yeah, just. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's why the mountain wouldn't let Tom and go. Oh my god. Yeah, he sees that. Wait, so that, mean, that means Marge is dead too? And Laura's? God damn it, dude. Oh, she's gonna torture this bitch. Oh my god, she's going to make her suffer. Okay. <laughs> Just wasting all that wine on her. Just dumping it on her. Oh my god. Me. Starving me. <laughs> I understand. And this is about to feel real good for her. I killed my husband because it felt good to be rid of him. Oh, she did it? What do you mean by that? I don't bother because it feels good to feel him inside me. Oh, God. Do all his little sparrows. All his septons, all his septons. Honestly, fuck all of them. <laughs> because it felt good to watch mm. them. Yeah, that did feel good. But not Marge, bro. I, I'm pretty hurt about Marge. <laughs> and Laura's. I said my face would be the last thing you saw before you died, do you remember? Mm-hmm. 
You're not going to die today. No. No, sweetheart. Oh, you're going to suffer. Mm. You're not going to die for quite a while. <laughs> Just slowly torture her. Gods have forsaken you. This is your god now. Oh. That's brutal. Shame. Mocking her. Damn. Very sorry. Yeah. This sucks for Tommen. <laughs> He's never gonna forgive Cersei ever. He can still heal all the people down there. Yeah, that's a lot of fire to put out. You know, just killed a lot more people than just everyone in that building, probably. What are you doing? <gasps> Full house! What? Tommen just offed himself? Just like that? Hey, fuck house Frey. But what? God damn. Oh my god. R.I.P. Tommen. Damn. So who the hell is king now? Send their regards. Fuck you. Not my type. Not blonde enough. <laughs> Have you met Sir Bron of the Blackwater? Hero of the Battle of Blackwater Bay. <laughs> you, maybe I'm not in the mood. <laughs> you say? Legendary warrior, everyone said. Have you done much fighting yourself, Lord Frey? Uh, Fuck no. What do you call that? Victory. Yes. You're a great comp. Pathetic. The Tullys mocked me for years. The Starks mocked me. Where are they now? Mm. <laughs> Guess. That's a point. Now? Two Kingslayers. Fuck off. Jimmy got so mad when he said Kingslayer. Worst thing. They don't fear the phrase, though. They fear the Lannisters. Mm-hmm. Oh, then take them back for you every time you lose them. Why do we need you? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, humble his ass. Hey, what are you gonna do about it, Walter? Are you gonna kill Jamie too? Fuck no, you're not. Damn. Yeah, how do you feel now, Cersei? You big dummy. You got all that forehead, and you couldn't even think about how Tobin was gonna feel after all this. Turning the king's funeral. Mm. As the sept of Baylor is no longer an option, Pat. Yeah, you kind of blew that up. Damn, well, Cersei, this is literally your fault. Like, <sighs> you killed every, you killed all those people. You killed, you killed Marge. You killed the High Sparrow and Tommen. He, you know, he like he adored all those people. Whatever, right? And yeah, dude, he just couldn't fucking believe what had happened, and he probably felt responsible himself for all that. So he just kind of offed himself. So. Like, he literally just took everything away that he cares about, and you, what do you expect? Him to be completely fine? Bro, reach your hand. <laughs> literally just doing this. Like, bro, just... I'm to be the new maester. Like, Cersei literally did this to herself, pretty much. Because she's so goddamn petty. Into our records, Gior Mormont is Lord Commander. Mm, not anymore. Bro, bro, he died like died a while ago. <laughs> so awkward. No women or children. Damn, okay, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's a fat ass library. Sam's dream, though. Well, now what? Well, we won. <laughs> Could have been worse, Jon Snow. You <laughs> oh, Shireen. Yeah, he's gonna call her around and be like, what the hell happened? He's so pissed. What is that? Jon, you don't even want to know. Him. Tell him who it belonged to. Uh. Tell him! Uh. Burned her alive. 
You burned her at the stake. Mm-hmm. Damn, Melisandre, that was hard for her to say. She's like, she's not too proud of that one. Yeah, especially now, after kind of thinking that all this, the Lord of Light's all kind of fake. <laughs> you burnt a little girl alive. I only do as you to burn children. Your Lord is evil. Mm-hmm. We are standing here because of him. Oh, is alive. Because the Lord willed it. I loved that girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so did her father. This hurts to see Sir Devil's like this. Yeah. Yeah, like they kind of signed off on this one too. Wait. The only way for what? They all died anyway. Mm. I didn't lie. That's what she thought. I was wrong. Yeah. All right. I ask you to leave. This is really awkward for John. She admits to the crime. <laughs> face. You have anything to say for yourself? No, no way we kill her. No. Been way. ready to die for many years. Yeah, like eight hundred years. Soon. Mm-hmm. And you know I can help you win that war. Mm-hmm. Kind of need her for that. Not gonna lie. Right south today. Ah. Uh. I'll have you hanged as a murderer. Fuck. I mean, at least he's given her, like, a chance to get out of here. Damn. I feel like we really... Bro, I feel like we really need her, though, to beat the Night King. Like, that's... That's the next battle. I will execute you myself. Oof. I mean, that's pretty fucked up what she did to Shireen. But it's what she thought she had to do. You know? I mean, bro, I could have told you that. That wasn't gonna fucking work. <laughs> But, uh, it's tough. But now we got this stupid ass side battle out of the way. Now the real battle begins between the Night King. Now we gotta really prep for that. Like, that's what the show has been building towards this entire time. You asked me. Oh. You told me Lord Bailey sold you to the Boltons. Mm hmm. He did. And you trust him? It's a we, weird relationship. We little yeah. Should have told you about him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't fight a war amongst ourselves. We have so many enemies now. Oh yeah, I, I feel like most houses are kind of thinking about. Oh, should we go and try and take Winterfell now? Maybe, probably not. But like, still, like all the houses they went to, like the one house that denied them, he probably he's probably hears about this and he's like, no fucking way. <laughs> a raven came from the citadel. Ooh, Sam. A white raven. Oh. Winter is here. Fuck. I mean, it's kind of been here, but it's official. It's official. Well, father always promised, didn't he? Yep. All right. Well, the Night King's better be here. So, we got to start prepping for that. The red scorpions, was it? Oh, well, then I came to the door. Oh, sh wait till she hears about what just happened to Marge. What she lacks in diplomacy, Do she makes... shut up, dear. Jesus. Mm -hmm. No. Good. <laughs> Let the grown women speak. Dude, okay, let us go a bitch. Cersei stole the future from me. Oh, this is war on the Lannisters mm -hmm. now. She killed my grandson. Mm -hmm. She killed my granddaughter. Oh, she already knows about it. Oh, that's why she's wearing all black. Mm -hmm. Alright, she already knows about it. <laughs> And what is my heart's desire? Ven oh, that's Varys. That's Varys. This is where he went. Because he left. Marine. Fire and blood. What's up, buddy? Fire and blood. Oh, they're going to plot to kill fucking Cersei. Holy fuck. Really ready. Yep. Got the Ironborn, too. The Dothraki deal on the poison water. You're not coming with us. Oh. Strategy? Need someone to stay here and defend. Only peace in Marine. You will keep the peace while the people choose their own leader. Fuck Marine. <laughs> Fuck the people. My sure. sword is yours. My life is yours. Sure he did when they're laying in bed. The best way to make alliances is with marriage. Mm -hmm. Who can't... are you marrying this time? I don't know. Anyone. John. She'll marry John. It's the only noble man in fucking Westeros. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he doesn't give a shit if she marries someone else for an alliance. He just, he's, he's still fucking her probably, and he just wants to be with her. 
The dwarf told you to do this. No one tells me to do anything. Clever fellow. We can't call it Slaver's Bay anymore, can we? Nope. I like Bay Dragons. That's a better name. I hope it brings you happiness. Damn, he's so hurt. I pity the lords of Westeros. They have no idea what's coming for them. Nope. Damn, so it's just like she'll never see him again or something? I guess she's gonna go to Westeros and just stay there forever. So yeah, she'll never see him again. No tears. Hmm. I know it was hard for you. I feel like Tyrion would stay in Marine too. Fuck going back to Westeros for him. Because he would have been a liability in the Seven Kingdoms. So he did tell her. You have your ships. You have your dragons. Everything you've ever wanted. I got everything we need. Are you afraid? Yeah, probably. Probably. Good. Honestly, afraid to win, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, you kind of have, like, that mental block where it's like, you ha you have the win, you can take the win, but you just have a mental block for some reason. If you know, you know. I said farewell to a man who loves me. <laughs> yeah, I was cold, bro. I was fucking cold. And I felt nothing. Damn. Just impatient to get on with it. And he won't be the last. Damn. That's so dumb. Well. Dude, R.I.P. Dario's fucking feelings. <laughs> I've been a cynic for as long as I can remember. Everyone's always asking me to believe. But he believes in her. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. It's embarrassing, really. Bro, are you trying to flirt with her or something? I had something made for you. Bro, are they gonna fall in love? I'm not sure if it's right. Oh, hand of the hand of the queen. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. To be here by midday. They're here, my lord. <gasps> well, what are they doing? Trimming that cunt hairs? Wait, her voice. Her voice. Oh, fuck. That's a finger. They weren't easy to carve. I think this is... I think I know who this is. Yep! It's fucking Arya. Yep. Did you know that? The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. Yep. Get him. Get him. Oh. Yes. Yes. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> That's a dub right there, bro. That is a dub right there. Oh my god. I fucking love Arya now. God damn. Dude, as soon as like she talked, she sounded just like Arya. And I was like, wait, wait. And then it was her. I came here every day when I was a girl. Oh yeah. To be somewhere else. I remember this tree. It's where um the one dude died. The maester was teaching Bran everything. That's where Ned was uh, sharpening his sword, talking to Catelyn back in season one. I thought you knew what I wanted. Bro, no one knows who- you don't even know what you want, bro. Well, this action helped him make this picture a reality. She like he just wants the most power possible. A picture of me on the Iron Throne. Yep. Yep. It's you by my side. <sighs> Bro, you'll never get the throne, Baelish. I'm sorry. No. No. It's a pretty picture. It's a hard no, buddy. Damn, she just walks away. <laughs> Bed for other houses before Lord Baelish. It's never stopped you from serving yourself. Yep. The past is gone for good. Departure or... Okay, people don't change, bro. <laughs> Especially you. Who should the North rally behind? True-born daughter of Ned and Catelyn Stark, born here at Winterfell. Or some fucking bastard named John. Well, this bastard, born in the south. Yeah. 
Like, thanks for the help, Big G, but we'll ne I'll never work with you again. We'll never work together again. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, we're back in this flashback. Oh, we better see what's in this castle? Alright. Yeah, he's gonna follow him now. Now that the other three-eyed raven isn't here to stop him. This is... Yeah, is this who Ned, uh... Loved before Catelyn? She's not going to die. Yeah, she is. Listen to me, Ned. What are you saying? You know it. You have to protect him. You have to protect them. Promise me, Ned. What is John's mom? Promise me, Ned. Is this fucking John right here? I don't know. Hmm. That is John! Okay, okay, okay. That is John. That was John. I fucking knew it. It did sound like she said John. John Snow when she whispered in his ear and kind of tried to re read her, reach her lips. My father used to say. We Peter looking at him like, oh, I'm gonna manipulate the fuck out of him. And I promise you, friend, the true enemy won't wait out the storm. No, I have no idea. Your son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Mandley. <laughs> Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refuse the call. Mm -hmm. You're all cowards. But House Mormont remembers. Mm -hmm. The North. Remember! Hell yeah. We know no king, but the king in the north whose name is Stark. Fuck yes. Paris is a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. Mm -hmm. He's my king. From this day until his last day. Hell yeah, dude. She's going off right now. Dude, it's kind of making me tear up, not gonna lie. Because I didn't want more Mandalays dying for nothing. Mm hmm. But now... But I was wrong! Yep, but now we have a true king. Jon Snow avenged the Red Wedding! Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. The king in the north! A man can only admit when he was wrong and ask forgiveness. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to forgive, my lord. I don't blame you. <laughs> and I will stand behind Jon Snow. The king in the north! <sighs> <sighs> Oh, these the Night King is fucked. <laughs> okay, not really, but <laughs> just gonna use him to get the Iron Throne. Try to, but that's not really gonna work out for him. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. They're back at King's Landing. Jamie can see everything. Yep. He's like, oh shit, Cersei. But nah, she did all that. Dude, Jamie has so much to. Just take in now, like, hey, your son's dead. Yeah, that's kind of it for Jamie, to be honest. High Sparrows are dead. Like, Jamie only really cares about Tom, you know? You know, but... I guess she's queen. All right, no king. All right. I guess Jamie's the king now. Fuck. So is she technically the first queen to sit on the Iron Throne now? Before, da before Daenerys? I mean, in the House of the Dragon, Rhaenyra, but she hasn't exactly done that yet. She's working on that. I don't know, maybe later in House of the Dragon she does, but as far as season one, nah. You know, that's probably why Cersei didn't give a shit that Tom is dead. Now she, now she has the throne. That's what she's always wanted. Dude, oh my god, is this episode gonna fucking end? Like, this episode just keeps on going. I mean, I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong, but like, I thought it should have ended like three times by now. Yep, on all the ships. We're going off to Westeros, baby. Damn, that's so cool. Music, too. Oh, Varys is already back. Alright. Oh, the 
Tyrells in there too, I think. Like he formed that alliance with Elena to help out Daenerys, I think. See the green, the green flags. That's probably why he's already back, his deal's done. But, alright, well, that was Game of Thrones Season 6. Damn, I can't believe I have to wait a full year for Season 7. Oh wait, no I don't. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so my memory card filled up, so I'm recording the outro a little bit later, that's why I'm wearing a different shirt, but... Okay, so let's start with the beginning. So, Cersei, right? So, Cersei blew up the entire septum. Cool. She got back at the High Sparrow. Teddy asked it exactly what she wanted to do, and I kind of respect it. It felt really good, but on the other hand, she killed a lot of people who didn't need to die. She had all the wildfire under the septum, and then it just went off and killed everyone, right? It killed Marge and Loras and all the Tyrells. So like RIP to them. Not really the High Sparrow. I mean, like he made some valid points here and there. So I'll give him that, but it's kind of annoying. So it's kind of funny because Cersei, she did exactly what the Mad King wanted to do and what Jaime prevented the Mad King from doing. You know, like she's literally the Mad Queen. Like literally, but Cersei is now queen because Tommen, you know, Tommen offed himself because he probably just couldn't live with what just happened. He probably felt super responsible for all that too. So he, you know, and so that means Cersei is now the queen. Okay. She's literally the mad queen. She did exactly what the mad king wanted to do and what Jamie killed him to prevent from happening. And so Jamie came back from, you know, from taking a river rod and he sees what's going on and he sees, he walked in on Cersei getting the crown. He's like, oh, what the hell? So Jamie realizes, okay, that means Tommen's dead. Marge is dead. All these people are dead. And I'm sure like even, I'm sure the explosion even killed a lot of people in collateral damage too. And so Jamie's on this path to become a better person. And so I, re I really hope he just presses her about this. Like, you know he's going to, and they're gonna get into a huge, they're gonna get into a huge fight about this and everything. And honestly, I don't see Cersei's rule lasting that long as queen, because, like, she has no allies or anything. Like, it, I feel like this is gonna be a super temporary thing. It's not gonna last long at all. And I, I so honestly, I kinda hope Jamie turns on her and kills her later on. That would be such a good ending to her character, I feel like. Because Jamie does the exact same thing twice. He breaks his oath twice. You know, but it's for the sake of everyone in the city. Well, the first time it was really just because he didn't want to kill his dad. You know, but this time it's for the sake of the greater good of the city. So that'd be a really nice to wait for Jamie. I feel like that would make Jamie a top, uh, maybe not top five, but like one of my favorites for sure. Jamie's already pretty much one of my favorites, but he would he would pass up a lot of people if he did that, in my opinion. So. Okay, well then, and Arya killed Walder Frey, so that's a huge dub. Okay, I edited, I already edited the, I've already edited the video by now, and yeah, that felt kind of random in this episode, not gonna lie, that felt, I, it just felt like a bonus they put in this episode. I figured they would have showed more leading up to that, so like, it did feel kind of random, but I'm so happy it happened. Oh my god, that's a huge dub. That's a huge dub. So let's go. And then it's funny because Baelish literally told Sansa, like, so who, who is the North going to rally behind? Literally a Stark girl or some bastard named Jon, you know? Like, who are they going to get behind? And literally, like, two scenes later in the show, every all the houses are like, you're just as much of a Stark as anyone else. You're the king. You're my king. You're the king of the North. Let's go. They don't give a shit that he's a bastard. So, and speaking of that, actually, we found out something very interesting in this episode. So, um, okay. Let me, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. This kind of goes back to season one when I didn't really do the best job of like really taking in all the information they gave us and like kind of talking over everything. So kind of missed a lot in season one so the scene where bran uh warged back in time he saw ned in that castle right we found out something very interesting we found out that john is not actually ned's bastard so that's pretty sick okay okay and so i figured yeah that was john's actual mom and i, I already edited the video so i put a little uh title i put a little text on the screen saying like i didn't hear her say this part when she said ned like oh my big brother my volume was super low and she was talking super quietly so then after i was like dude i can't hear her so like i turned it up i probably i should have rewatched the scene to be honest but but then that just makes the full length reaction video a lot more complicated if i keep going back so so that was ned's sister right there right I didn't know that. Okay, and so yeah, I always thought that John was Ned's bastard, right? It went like this. 
obviously Ned had all his kids with Catelyn, right? But then Ned had John with a different girl, okay? And that's why Catelyn hated John because John wasn't her true son. So, it, okay, okay, stay with me. But in this scene, we found out that, okay, that was Ned's sister. So it's not actually Ned's kid. I mean, incest isn't really anything new in this show, but they, they're not Targaryens. They wouldn't do that. But actually, <laughs> speaking of that, um, yeah, so John's a Targaryen, apparently. Okay, okay, that's cool. It's so, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did watch a video explaining that scene really quick just to make sure I understood what was happening, just to make sure I was on the same page as everything. But, th okay, this is where I'm kind of confused in the show. Like, how I never, like, there's no way I would ever pick this up. So, that girl on the bed was Ned's sister. And, and so, John's real dad is Rhaegar Targaryen. Okay. What in that scene tells us that Rhaegar Targaryen is John's dad? Like, the only thing I can think of is she's like, you have to protect him, right? You have to protect him. You know, I I never heard her say exactly from what, but in this uh, breakdown video, they said, you, like, you have to protect him from Robert because, you know, Robert hates Targaryens, and that's how he got his throne, by killing the Targaryens, and now he's the king, right? And so if he knew John was a Targaryen, Robert would have killed him immediately. And so that's why... Ned picked up John as his bastard, or claiming it's his bastard, to protect John, which is actually his sister's kid. Ned kept that lie his entire life. Ned kept that lie his entire life, that John was his, when in reality it wasn't. And it was just to protect him from Robert this entire time. Wow. What a guy, dude. What a guy. What an honest, noble guy Ned is. And I mean, when I was when I was watching it and it showed the shot of the baby, I did notice the baby had like somewhat blonde hair. And I was like, OK, that's interesting. And then, it, yeah, it cut right to John or whatever. So and I was like, OK, well, that baby's obviously John. But yeah, John's a Targaryen, I guess. I don't know if like I was supposed to know that from this episode. So I might have spoiled this for myself, but I think I was supposed to catch it in this episode. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie. I looked up other reaction videos to see if like they picked it up too because i was just curious and i was reading their comments on the ep on the same episode and like yeah everyone in the comments was saying it so i was like oh shit okay so yeah the show revealed that john's a targaryen but to be fair rhaegar targaryen he, he was never in the show he was only mentioned by name and i'm pretty sure he was only mentioned by name in season one and like i said i talked over everything in season one and like since i was talking over everything i only started i really only started to pick up the show in like season two like end of season one beginning of season two is when everything started like actually clicking and making sense i know that's pretty shitty but i'm but i was a dumbass back in my video i was a dumbass in those videos like i didn't know what i was doing at all i still don't know what i'm doing but i have a way better idea now so and also to be fair in the breakdown video they said that like it doesn't really imply john's a targaryen that hard unless like you really know game of thrones and like you really know the intricacies and nuances of it then you'd pick up he's a Targaryen, which I obviously don't. Like, I get the gist of the show, but I don't know all the little details super well yet because it's it's my first time watching, you know? I'm sure when they broke down that scene, who, the dude who made that video literally watched the scene like a hundred times, times, and all the other episodes a hundred times, so he has the full context of everything that's happening. And, you know, it helps to really listen to the show and not talk over everyone all the time. I, I feel like I have gotten better with that. So we're making progress. But yeah, I kind of ruined. Yeah, so I messed up in season one. So I do apologize. But overall, this was a really good episode. I feel like it hit every single point, hit every single storyline very well. It was a very balanced episode. And so it, and so it was a really enjoyable episode. We hit literally every single storyline. Yeah, Daenerys is on her way to, re to Westeros. You know, those green flags looked like. Tyrell flag so that's what Varys Wynn did he made a pact he's working for Daenerys and he went to Dorne made a pact with I'm pretty sure he made a pact with the Martells too then and the Tyrells so they're on our side and this is a perfect opportunity this is perfect timing to go and make allies with them because of what Cersei just fucking did you know we're gonna go take over King's Landing bro even without them we would take it over are you kidding me are you fucking kidding if if Daenerys invades King's Landing, there is nothing Cersei can do. That's why her rule is going to be very, very short. I hope they hit King's Landing first. It's over, bro. It's over. So Bran's probably going to work his way to Jon, to Winterfell. Go find him. I mean, he's not that far away from Winterfell, honestly. So it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, nah, he kind of has to get dragged the entire way. So maybe it might take a minute. But then, okay, so now John's a Targaryen. So, okay, that's why he's the prince that's promised. That's So what Melisandre was talking about makes a lot more sense now. 
So technically, shouldn't that make him the one to sit on the Iron Throne and not Daenerys? Like, like are they gonna have a feud over that now? I mean, honestly, I don't think Jon will give a shit. He'll be like, yeah, I don't want the throne. You can have it. Like, I'll help you get it. I don't give a fuck. Just because Jon's that type of guy, he's not gonna care that much. He's like, just let me have Winterfell and we're chilling. Let me have the North and we're good, you know, so. So yeah, that was Game of Thrones season six, episode 10. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.